after 16 years in student ministry, I found out that one of the most important things I could possibly do was focus on the curriculum that I was teaching my students. Now as I travel and I'm speaking at different youth events, I'm able to say something I could not say years ago. We have an incredible apostolic resource called Link 247 that's available to apostolic youth workers. If you haven't, you need to make sure and go on to Link 247. Plumb to their website and find these resources that are available for you. They're fully digital, they're fully apostolic, and they're readily available for you. And I'm thankful for Link 247 because it's a great resource for student pastors that want to grow a youth group and they want to be relevant and current for the people that they're trying to reach. One of the things that I love about Link 247 is that it is infused with apostolic doctrine. It's written by apostolics for apostolics. In our current culture and age when they're faced with so many challenges, we need a clear voice from people who know the truth, and that's what this resource provides. And not only that, it provides it in a very relevant and practical way that speaks to their culture. Here at the General Youth Division, we're excited about our partnership with Link 247. Not only what it does for you as a youth worker, but the incredible material that it's giving to your students. We are not just building numbers, we're building disciples, and Link 247 is helping us accomplish that. God bless you. Take time. Go to the Link 247 website today and become a part of using this great curriculum. Okay, everybody stand up. Are you excited to be at Youth Convention 2017? We believe at Youth Convention 2017 that this great youth department believes in and invests in Save Our Children. So what I need you to do right now is I need you to get your money out and get ready to come up here because these guys right here, these fine looking fellas right here have lifesavers and glow sticks and you can help us save a child. So right now, start your way up here, put your money in the trash can and get a lifesaver, a glow stick, and I'm going to give you reasons why you're going to give to save our children. You want to know a reason why to give to save? Come on, don't even think about it. Just bring a dollar. It's a dollar. Bring five, bring ten. Buy your whole youth group a package of lifesavers and it'll help save our children. The General Sunday School Division has had crusades over the last few years. In 2013, 753 children were filled with the baptism of the Holy Ghost. That's 753 reasons. 2014, 890. While I'm telling you this, come on, come on, give us a dollar and help save a child. It's Save Our Children, SOC. It's what helps promote She's for Christ, SFC. 897 were filled with the Holy Ghost in 2014. In 2015, 1,253 children were filled or refilled with the Holy Ghost. In 2016, 770, I'm giving you reasons to give to save our children. Come on, your seat will be there when you get back. Come, send somebody with the 20 from the youth group, buy them all one. 2016, 772 children filled with the baptism of the Holy Ghost. So that means in the last four years, 3,675 children filled with the Holy Ghost. But what about Missouri? Put that slide on there. In Missouri, here's a reason to give to save our children in Missouri. At junior camp, since the last time we were here promoting Save Our Children, your giving allowed us to see 54 Missouri children filled with the baptism of the Holy Ghost at junior camp. At camp meeting, how many of you were at camp meeting? If you didn't go to camp meeting, you missed it. At camp meeting, 54 kids were filled or refilled with the Holy Ghost at camp meeting. That's Missouri. That's you giving to Missouri, save our children. 34 children were filled with the baptism of the Holy Ghost at our crusades across the Missouri district. It's because of kids like you, students like you, that kids can get connected to Christ. You're helping us do that. And we want to say thank you, thank you, thank you On behalf of Missouri District Sunday School Thanks for helping us save our children If you haven't been by to see us at the booth Stop by, see us at the booth We've got lifesavers that are going to change lives We've got glow sticks that are going to light some child's world We want to say thank you for putting the children first And helping us save our children God bless you Now's the time everybody's been waiting for. You've prayed and asked God, so here's your moment. Turn to your crush 
and let them know how you really feel. My name is Cullen Cressman, and I'm a faculty member at Urshan College. And I just want to let you know I'm impressed with all of you in this room. You as a generation live in a complex world. And one of the incredible things about God is he always equips his church with the people that he needs to reach the current world. And all of you have incredible dreams, things that I could never imagine, a unique calling to do specific, unique things. And God has placed those callings in your lives. God is going to use all of you to reach the world in a complex way. Our calling at Urshan College is to prepare you for whatever God calls you to. Urshan's mission is to give you a quality apostolic education, give you a venue to practice and train in order to equip you, and to lead you in the will of God as his spirit empowers you for ministry in the world. Now we offer degrees that are typical of a Bible college. We have Christian ministry. You can focus on theology, pastoral studies, youth ministry, music ministry, all kinds of different uh, areas of focus, but we also offer degrees in organizational leadership, and we offer a degree in human services. And this fall, we will be offering a degree in communication studies. And if you start now, you can join in on a fast track program, and you could have a master's degree in five years through UGST. Now, this December, an historic moment is going to happen for our movement. Urshan College is the only school that's owned and operated by the United Pentecostal Church International. And we have a site visit for accreditation this year. Now what that means for all of you is that come 2018, we will have reached a status, if all goes well with our site visit, we will have reached a status where we are a candidate for accreditation, which means that we will receive all of the benefits that an accredited school receives. Financial loans and all of uh, those who start their degree while we're candidates, your degree will be retroactive. So if you graduate, even as a candidate status, your degree will become accredited when the school becomes accredited. So God is doing incredible things with Urshan College, and we want to empower you, your unique callings. We believe that God has called all of you specifically to do things not just in ministry that we recognize as uh, pulpit ministry, music, those kinds of things, but in human services and all other venues of organizational leadership as managers of people. You have a witness and we want to help you be educated by apostolics in a safe environment that is accredited. God bless.
Anybody here going to Youth Congress in Indianapolis? Yay! You excited about it? For many years, they've had a wonderful thing before service each night called the Talent Search. This, Friday, this year on Friday night, we're going to have just a little bit different kind of a talent search. We're going to allow people with a business venture idea to make a great pitch at the Youth Congress. And we're going to have over $100,000 in gifts for the top three good ideas to start businesses. Now, what I want to tell you is that this generation, you are surpassing my generation and even an in-between generation in starting businesses. Fortune Magazine just said, a new generation of entrepreneurs has arrived, and they're already outperforming their parents. Can I hear it? Yay. They are the millennial preneurs, as a new survey puts it, and at just 20 to 35 years old, they're starting more companies, managing bigger staffs, and targeting higher profits than their baby boomer predecessors. On Friday night at Youth Congress, if you have a good business idea, we want you to sign up now to start getting ready to make a pitch that night so that you can get up to $100,000 in gifts to help you start your business venture to make it successful. Here is the deal. We want it to be something that is sustainable in other words, it'll continue to grow and make money, but it also has to make a difference for the kingdom. I believe this generation doesn't mind making the money and having businesses, but they really want to make a difference in our society and around the world. The Great Pitch is being empowered by a brand new company called Impact Jump Junkie. Impactjunkie.co and watch as we have the next presentation. Say impact junkie. I can't hear you. Impact junkie. As you as you've heard, impact junkie is empowering the great pitch. 
My name is Crystal Napier, and I'm here, here to tell you about what the Impact Junkie is and our mission. It's to excite, engage, and inspire entrepreneurs and change makers. It's to take your talents and abilities and change the world. So that's you. We are all called to do something great. Yet there are times that we feel not able to support the things that are going on around the world or not able to go on a missions trip. Well, what Impact Junkie is doing is providing a way to send students, to send young people in Hyphen across the world to change the world, to take water wells where people don't get filtered water, to take solar power boxes where people don't have a way to getting a hold of the internet for educational purposes. So with the Impact Junkie and with your help, this movement, it's a new business provided through the UPCI, but with this and with your help, we can change the world. And tonight we're looking to start and continue the founding team of 2,000 people to start this movement. And we can't start until we hit 2,000 people and it's been going across the nation and the way to begin is through this t-shirt subscription. Everybody likes t-shirts when you promote um, a mission or something that you believe in. So the way it works is every month you pay $25 towards the Impact Junkie. And it, it makes a way for missions trips to happen around the world for us to send water wells. In return, you get a t-shirt every single month. The great thing about Missouri Youth Convention is that this weekend only, you get 20% off your first month. So it's only 20 bucks to start. So I can talk about all these details and specifics about how it works, but what really matters is, is not the money. What really matters is that it's the mission. That's why with the great pitch, it's not about making money, but it's colliding your talents, your abilities, your gifts with changing the world and reaching the world. And the reason we're all here is because we all have a calling. And platform ministries are beautiful. They're necessary. They're needed. But we are not meant to stay within the four walls of the church. We are meant to go out and change the world. So you have an outlet, young people. You have an outlet hyphen to create something amazing and pitch it in front of 32,000 people. But to continue past that, we all have the opportunity to make money change the world. But with your passion and with your mission and that and your desire, that's the only way that this is going to happen. We can't do it alone. But we're looking to start a founding team of 2,000 people. And then from there, we can reach new goals. Eventually, we're, we want to reach 5,000. And then that's going to create trips for someone. There's going to be a drawing that you'll be entered into. It will create a trip for someone to go overseas every single month. And even if you're not able to go overseas or if you don't get want, picked in that drawing, you're still making a difference. You're getting a t-shirt in return, but your money, it's changing the world. And I believe that by the time we get to Youth Congress with 32,000 people, I wholeheartedly believe that we'll easily get 5,000 people bought into this movement. Not this money-making mission, but this movement to change lives, to provide for people, and to strengthen you and your talents and your abilities. So you can find us after service. We'll be in between the Urshan booth and it will, um, the IVC booth. And you can come there, and the first five people that come and see us after service and show us that you've registered, you've become an impact junkie, then you, one, you'll get 20% off, but we also have a $10 Starbucks gift card. Who likes coffee? The, for the first five, sorry, <laughs> but for the first five, the first five people that come and show us, I've registered, I'm an impact junkie, I'm ready to go, I want to change the world, we'll give you 10 bucks at Starbucks, and hey, if you don't like coffee, you can give it to that cute girl, that cute guy that you see, or you can give it away as a gift. Again, my name is Crystal Napier. This is Brother Jury, and you will find us out there by the Urshan booth. Um, you also have that card that will connect you to the website. And if you have any questions or want to know anything else about the Impact Junkie, you can find us there. God bless. Thank you so much. Everybody say Impact Junkie. How many of y'all excited to be at Mo Youth 2017? Oh, come on, you can do better than that. I need you to stand to your feet and shout with everything you've got. How many of y'all are excited to be at Mo Youth 2017? All right, 
I've got one quick announcement, but I need you to help me with this. I need you to find a hyphen person in your youth group. I need you to find them and grab them by the shirt, by the arm, by the hand. I need you to help me with this. Ready? Everybody, go. You got them? You got them? This is what I need you to do. At the top of your lungs, I need you to shout, tonight is hyphen hangout. Tonight, listen, listen, tonight from 9.30 to 12 o'clock, it's going to be food, folks, and a ton of fun. 9.30 to 12 o'clock, tickets are on sale at the registration booth, $10. It's all the food you can eat. We're going to hang out. We're going to have a blast. It's going to be awesome. Look at that hyphen person and say, tonight, 9.30, be there. Let's give it up for Brother, Brother Randall Lee as he comes and makes an announcement about PK Day. All right. If you are a PK in the house, you definitely want to hear this next announcement. First off, just in case someone is in the room and they don't realize that they are a PK, I want everyone to say, what's a PK? Well, I'm glad that you asked. A PK is any student between the ages of 12 and 18 whose parent is a licensed minister with the United Pentecostal Church. Now turn to your neighbor and say, are you a PK? If your answer to that question is yes, then you want to hear this. The Missouri youth will be having a PK Day event during the afternoon of July 21st, which is the Thursday of Missouri District Conference, formerly known as Camp Meeting. And this is going to be an event uh, where, where you will get to go out to eat, you will have an activity, and most importantly, you will have a lot of fun with the Mo Youth leadership and other PKs from around the district just like you. If you are a PK, this is an event, event that you will not want to miss. The cost for this event will be $5 per student and will include transportation, food, and all activities while you are at the event. And for more information, uh, you can go to the Mo Youth website at www.moyouth.com. But right now, if you are a PK in the room, I want you to get out your phones or borrow a phone from your neighbor or a chaperone. I want you to text your parents and let them know that you want to go to PK Day at Missouri District Conference this year. Thank you. What's up, Missouri youth? Hey. So I have a question for everyone. Who loves Indiana Bible College? <laughs> Woo! Awesome. I know we have some alumni in the house. Brother Ranking, Brother Soto. Just name drop real quick. But in all seriousness, we have a booth out. And I encourage you guys, if you're feeling a deeper call to do the work of God and you just feel an urge, come stop by our booth. Check out what we're all about. We have biblical studies majors, missiology, worship studies. We're also having some awesome merchandise. We have CDs, t-shirts, and look out for our new CD. It drops out next week. But at IBC, you will be challenged to grow, and you will have a wonderful relationship with God, but it'll just go further and further and further. So please come, check us out, talk to us, and just spread the love of IBC. Let's go, guys. All right, I got good news for you. I am the last commercial announcement. Praise the Lord. I need all my yammers to stay in the building. If you've ever been on a youth on missions trip, stand to your feet. Stand to be recognized. Why don't we give this wonderful crowd a round of applause? All right, you can be seated. If you've never been on a youth on missions trip, ask one of them. Ask them. They will tell you it can and it will change your life. And this year is no different. In fact, we're going to be traveling to the revival nation of Austria this year. That's Austria, not Australia. Austria in Europe on June 26th through July 1st. And while we're there, we're going to be working directly with two missionary families, the Robinette family and the Pace family. We're going to be doing uh, services, street evangelism all throughout Austria. It's going to be an incredible trip. I want to tell you, if you've ever considered going on a missions trip, this is the one to go on. 
In fact, just recently in the nation of Austria, the Vienna Film Festival, they are they're soon to publish a documentary called A Sunday in Vienna. It highlights the headquarters church, our church in Austria, the Book of Acts Church, and the many Muslim families who are being born again in water and baptism there. I think that's something to be excited about. We can celebrate. There are, there's an entire contingent of Muslim individuals who are being converted and they're being filled with the Holy Ghost as well as Trinitarian ministers. This is the environment in which you'll find yourself if you go on the Youth on Missions trip 2017. Spots are extremely limited. Sign up at moyam.com, moyouth.com. The deadline is Thursday, April 20th. So sign up as soon as possible. Also be sure to stop by our booth right outside this door. Thank you all so much. We'll see you at Youth on Missions 2017.
Praise the Lord, Missouri Youth Convention. Praise the Lord, Missouri Youth Convention. Let's stand to our feet tonight. Actually, one better. Let's join in the altar tonight. I see youth groups coming all around. I see Vindicated Student Ministries over here coming down. Let's, let's fill this altar tonight before service starts. God is going to do incredible things this evening. We already have seen God move last night and this morning as well. I'm excited for what God is going to do tonight. If we could all across this room, from the back all the way to the front, from each side, let's lift up our hands to heaven right now. Let's begin to seek God for this service and for this moment tonight. Lord, we come before you. Lord, we invite your presence into this place. We invite your glory into this house, Lord. Let your power fill this room, God. Let it reach into our hearts. Let it touch the deepest part of our souls, God. I pray that you would anoint our musicians, God, and anoint our singers. Anoint our worship leader, Lord. Let it reach your throne, God. Lord Jesus, I pray that it would be a sweet sound in your ears. Let our worship be a sweet sound in your ears, God. Anoint the word and it, as it comes forth, God. Let it reach the deepest part of our soul, God. Let it fall on fallow ground in the name of Jesus. Lord, we worship you. Come on, let's clap. Let's rejoice for what God is going to do this evening. Let's lift it up with all that we've got. Everything that we've got, God, it's yours. We give you the highest praise. We lift up your name tonight. God, we thank you for who you are and for what you've done in this place.
tonight, we want you. We want your presence. We want your spirit. Oh, we want you to come and dwell among us. Break! 
Break through in my spirit, break through in my soul, break through in my weakness, break through in my struggle. You are the God, you are the God of the breakthrough in my worship, break through in my praise, break through when I live, glorify your name, break through when I dance, break through when I shout. You are the God, you are the God of the breakthrough in my heart, break through in my mind, break through in my spirit, break through in my soul. thank him. Come on, somebody, thank him. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This is the place to get your breakthrough. You've come needing something right here in this altar. This is where you need to be. You can receive whatever you need. Close your eyes with me for a moment. The presence of the Lord is in this place. God is here to touch your life. God is here to meet your need. Just whisper his name. Jesus. Whisper his name. Jesus. Whisper his name. Jesus. Oh, whisper. 
Let's worship him. Thank you for that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Students of Missouri, why don't you call upon the name of Jesus right now like anything can happen? like anything's possible, why don't you call on his name right now? Lift up your hands across this place and just begin to say that name like he can deliver you. Like whatever your need is, he can take care of it tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As the Missouri All-State Youth Choir begins to make the way to my right, just have a few announcements. Tomorrow morning is going to be another student pastor session at 9 a.m. Our evening speaker, Aaron Soto, is going to be uh, speaking to our student pastors and our youth workers. And uh, that's going to be happening in room 101. So if you missed this morning, you don't want to miss tomorrow morning. If you made it to this morning's, thank you for coming. Make sure you get back for Friday morning session in the student pastor session. Also happening tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. is going to be a Project 7 session. Turn to your neighbor and say, Project 7. Project 7 is going to be happening. It's, you're going to be hearing some amazing testimonies. You're going to be hearing some direction about P7 clubs. You won't want to miss it. That's going to be in room, uh, that's going to be in the ballroom in the hallway. Hyphen Hangout is happening tonight. Tonight at 9.30 to midnight. Tickets are $10, and there are still tickets available for the hyphen hangout. That's going to include some finger foods, things like that. So if you're over 18 years old, you're 18 years or older right now, you're going to want to come to the hyphen hangout after tonight's service. Tomorrow night is going to be Celebrate. It's going to be happening at Kokomo Joe's from 10.30 to 2.30 a.m. $15 tickets are for sale at registration. Just a reminder, please be courteous to all of our hotel staff. Be kind, be patient and uh, treat them the way you would like to be treated. Please do the same in all the restaurants that you visit, <coughs> excuse me, that you visit throughout the week. Be kind and be courteous to them. Also, we want to give a, a quick shout out to Brother Jeremy Perry. I can't see him, but maybe you can see him, maybe you know him. Brother Jeremy Perry is responsible for this backdrop that you see. He's also responsible for building this nice custom-built Missouri Youth Pulpit. And uh, we are so thankful that he, along with so many others, give of themselves, their time, their talents to the Missouri District Youth Convention. Give them a hand right now. Just everybody that works behind the scenes, we thank you. We're also thankful that our district leadership has joined us, all of our pastors. If, if your pastor is here, turn to them and just give them a thumbs up. Tell them you're glad that they're here. We're thankful that Pastor Scott Graham is here. He's also, he serves our district. As our district superintendent, we want to welcome him and, and, and welcome him to this pulpit tonight to greet us. Welcome, Brother Scott Graham. I've been to a few of these, and um, I attended them as young, a young person a long time ago, right after the dinosaurs died. Um, I attended these. I've led these types of meetings. I've preached at these types of meetings, and I've noticed something. That inevitably at these gatherings, some young people have a breakthrough moment, some don't. Now, God loves every one of us the same. So it's not that God walks through and picks out certain individuals and says, I'm going to do something spectacular in your life, I'm just going to ignore you. That's not it. There's got to be some answer as to why some have that moment, some don't probably several. I ran across something in scripture a while back that probably speaks to this. David is in those years where he's fleeing from Saul. There's a group of men gathered around him. They were a motley outfit. Some of them were criminals. Some of them were off-scouring society. But numbered among them, there were mighty men, 30-plus individuals who had some great exploits. One guy that killed 800 with a spear, another that fought till the sword claved to his hand, another took a, uh, stood in the middle of a field and defended it against the Philistines. You can read all these great things that these men did. They were an incredible group of people, just like you are. The Bible records something real interesting one day that David was reclining, he's in a cave, he's a vagabond, he's running from the authorities, and, and he just makes a simple statement. 
He doesn't ask them to do anything. He just comments. He said, man, you know what I would love? I wish I could have a drink of water from that well. And he names the place where it was. That's all he says. And those three guys that were nearby, there were three of them there. And they rose up, took their weapons, went, fought their way through the enemy, and brought water back. The Bible makes this statement about them. I, I think it's 2 Samuel 23, about verse 16 or so. And it says, they broke through the enemy's lines. Those three, now there were all kinds of mighty men there, but those three had a breakthrough. I kind of think the reason might be that they were close to their king when he got thirsty. I've only got one time I know of that our king ever got thirsty. Hung on a cross one day and spread his arms and he said, I thirst. I am kind of convinced that those that have a breakthrough are those that get close to their king when he was thirsty. You crawl yourself to the foot of his cross. I love when we shout and butt and jump and have a great time. Those are wonderful times. There'll be time for that. Maybe more of that tonight, maybe tomorrow. But, but I want to just encourage you before you leave this place, would you find some time when your face is on this concrete that you get close enough to the cross that you can hear the suffering of your king when he whispers, I'm thirsty? Because those are the people that break through. I'm not sure you break through just because the choir, the, the praise team sings a great exciting song about breakthrough and you jump. I, I'm not sure that's really, when I look back at my life, the breakthrough moments weren't the moments that the bass was thumping and the drums were pounding and everybody was going ballistic. The breakthrough moments are my life were when I got close to the cross. So I just want to admonish you this week. Over the course of the next, I don't know what Brother Soto is going to preach tonight. I don't know what Brother Rankin will preach tomorrow morning. I don't know what kind of God moment you're going to have, but would you just say, God, I want to break through bad enough that I'm going to get close to my king and I'm going to hear that moment that he whispers, I'm thirsty. Because the ones that do that are the ones that will break through. I want that for you. I pray you'll seek that. I'm so glad you're here. God has got designs for your life. He's going to do something spectacular with you. Please get close to him in his thirsty moments. Yeah.